What's up, you guys? Today we're doing a flash review of the Sterling Cutlass CT50 model. Um, we have a bunch of different colors and options in them, but we're going to talk about the specs of these guitars and how they sound, how they play, and uh, we're going to kind of compare between the different pickup style configurations. And um, yeah, so let's plug them in, see how they sound. Okay, so the model that I'm holding, um, the coolest thing I think is that this has a roasted maple neck, um, just that dark wood, super unique. I love the look of it. It has locking tuners here um, at the top, which is nice. You can whammy and play a little harder and not feel like you're going to go out of tune as often. Um, it has a rosewood fingerboard and a poplar body. This one comes in the SSS style of um, configuration here, so it's single coil pickups all the way down. Um, so yeah, we'll play some riffs on it and see how the different configurations sound, and then we'll compare it to the SSH style one um, that has just the humbucker instead of the single coil pickup at the bridge. So I'm going to play a riff here, and right now we're on the bridge pickup on the single coil um, setting, volume and tone are both on 10. And then I'll switch now to the um, next position, that's the middle pickup and the bridge pickup. Now just middle pickup. And then now we have middle pickup and neck pickup. And then we have just neck pickup. So hopefully you can hear the difference there. Um, the bridge pickup is going to be the brightest. It's also going to have the most sharpness to the tone. Um, when you add the middle pickup, they act as a humbucker themselves, so it kind of cancels out the buzz, and you get a little bit warmer of a sound. Um, the middle pickup also is going to be bright. It's going to have a little more balance between the lows and the highs, so it won't be as piercing. Um, and then the next position here with the middle and the neck is going to be your most jazzy, warm, um, noodly sound. I guess you could describe it as that. Uh, that's the place that most people play on strats. Um, for clean tones. And then the neck pickup is going to, again, it's going to have a little bit more punch to it because it's just the single coil, um, but it is going to have that noodly tone to it. So that's the kind of review of those two. The guitar feels great to play. Um, the pickup selector is pretty smooth going through the different positions. Um, they all sound clear and balanced um, volume wise. So, yep. Now let's uh, give this SSH style a play and uh, we can see the difference um, in tone, especially with that humbucker um, compared to the single coil here. Now we switch to the dropped copper um, color that has the single, single humbucker set up. And uh, I'll play the same riff that we played on this guitar. Um, we can just test the difference in the sound specifically of the humbucker pickup um, versus the single coil here. So this is the humbucker that we're starting on. And then we go to humbucker and middle. That was the middle pickup there. Now we'll switch from middle to or middle and neck, which is going to sound exactly the same as that one. Same thing with the neck pickup here. So the biggest difference that we're going to hear is on the bridge, just the humbucker, and then the, the bridge and the middle pickup um, are both going to sound a lot different than this guitar. So I'll play through those one, one more time just so you can hear the difference. Um, one thing I wanted to mention as well uh, that's on all of these guitars is it has a scooped neck profile um, where the body and the neck come together. So it is a bolted, um, just like all strats are, but it does have a scoop, so it's a little more comfortable to play up high on the neck. It doesn't feel like you're running into a block of wood um, as much. So it's really comfortable to play. I wanted to mention that as well. That's on all of the different colors and configuration models. Um, <coughs> 
So back to the pickups here, the humbucker is going to be a lot punchier, um, a lot louder uh, than just the single coils, and it's also going to cancel that hum a lot better. So you're going to get a really clean tone. If you're into something that you're wanting to play both like clean jazz stuff and rock, I would go with the humbucker configuration because you can switch again to a clean neck tone and have that pretty sound, or you can switch to the humbucker and really rock out and not feel like you're losing um, any of that punch that a humbucker can give you versus the single coil. Um, so yeah, that's a great thing to mention as well. Um, the other thing is when you switch to the uh, position that has the middle and the humbucker, it cancels even more of that hum and noise, so you can get a really clean, right sound out of the guitar um, that you wouldn't be able to get out of the single, single, single. Um, so yeah, both of them are awesome guitars. It just comes down to a sound preference and what you're aiming for with your playing. Um, so yeah, it's awesome that Sterling has given uh, both options in this model. Um, again, it's a really good looking guitar. It plays well. I love the roasted maple neck. Um, so yeah, great pick. Uh, very versatile very versatile instrument and they look cool. I think the colors are awesome. Thanks for watching you guys. Check us out on boothmusic.com. You can see these guitars and all the different colors and configurations that they come with. Um, let us know down in the comments what you want us to review next and we'll check it out. All right, so now we switched. Uh, okay, guys, check these guitars out on boothmusic.com. Um, let us know down in the comments what you want us to review next and we'll check it out and we'll play some sick stuff for you and I'll sound like an idiot. Okay, <laughs> let me do that again.